Okay, so welcome back. So in this video, we will be talking about the open process function. So the open process function basically does is it opens an existing local process of Okay, take note it should be an existing local process. Okay, so open process function only uses three parameters. So the first parameter that we have is our PE32.TH32 process ID. So this is the process ID that we will be getting from our process32 first or what, whichever process that you want to open process. Okay. Next is a either a true or false value. So if this value is true, then the process created by this process will inherit the handle. Otherwise, it will not. Okay. And lastly, we have here a desired access parameter, which is process all access. So this can be set into different process specific access, right? So either process all access, process create process, process create threads, process query information, and etc. Okay? So you may read more about this in the Windows app development documentation under process security and access rights okay so after all these parameters you just call the open process and the handle will be stored into eax so to be able to use this in the future we would need to store this in a variable which we have named h process snap open process okay so we move EAX to H process snap open process and that is it. So let's try pro save project console build all. I see no errors. And let's try to run our code. So there should be no errors. Okay. So that is how you use the open process function. And I hope to see you all again next time.